Hello everybody, it's Greg from 9 Games. And today we're going to talk about Silent Hill 2. Yes, very excited about that uh, release date trailer, October 8th. Um, I will be getting it October 6th, thank you. So I'll be streaming it on my channel. Um, that's just for pre-order. It's a digital pre-order, by the way. That's not nothing special. So everything I say is opinion-based. So before I continue this video, let me deliver a big fuck you to the people that are doing nothing but complaining. I've said this in several videos, and I'll say this over again. Um, the originals still exist, and half of you guys steal them. And half of you guys aren't even old enough to have appreciated when the game fucking came out. So, that being said, this, this is going to be a rant, because I saw some real disgusting shit online last night. What is that? I'm a little baked. Um, anyway. Let's talk about the one thing that everyone's complaining about. That's totally tobacco smoke. Um, <laughs> the one thing everybody that was complaining about was uh, character models. In particular, Angela. Angela's supposed to be 19 years old. Okay? I know I've said several times in videos in the past that um, I, I was about to call her Rachel. Angela looks like my Aunt Rachel when she was, you know, in her 40s. Okay? That's one. So, I do... They didn't really change her design. If you look at her, you can still say, that's Angela from Silent Hill. They softened her face. They made her look younger. They made her a little pudgier because... I had a terrible idea doing this video outside. You can hear all the shitty Massachusetts drivers going by. Um, but anyways, they made her look like she was 19. And not to, like, put anybody down or feel bad. I come from childhood abuse, okay? We don't look normal, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> clearly. The one thing that bothered me is the biggest complaint is that people said they intentionally made Angela unattractive. So we need to back up here. And some of you people need to assess your lives. I don't know, maybe uh, uh, Pornhub has ruined your perception of what people actually look like and what's okay to pursue sexually. I see what you people watch. Um, why are you complaining that the one character in the game who's specifically there for killing her father for raping her when she was a kid why do you care how good she looks these maybe I just said it maybe you can think like hey I'm a little retarded um out of everything that happened that's a word that's gonna make people upset Oh yeah, you can't say rape on here either. Rape, 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 rape. Um, <laughs> no, seriously, why do you care if she's attractive? And half of you guys, were, like I said, weren't, weren't around. Maybe you're not old enough to, to comprehend the game. I know a lot of it's open to an interpretation. That's why a lot of us have different videos we talk about, although we're on the same keel. Um, Maria is the one who's attractive to James and who's... You can touch me. Like, specifically, we can't do anything through these bars. And then, you know, you go, you find your way around, and she's dead on the bed. She's sexually advanced, like, advancing towards James. And then every time he runs into Angela, it's a don't touch me. So, one hypersexualized one, and one not who went through horrible things. You need the duality in the game, right? And, uh,. Yeah, like, if you look at the knife, and you look at the letter, what does James do at the end of the game? Kills himself. He takes the same route as Angela. Kills himself with the knife that she killed her father with, by the way, so, real poetic. Um, and then what happens if you are more attentive to Maria? You leave with Maria. So, that part aside... Let me talk about the actual four minutes in, four and a half minutes in. Let me talk about the actual, like, what I enjoyed. I watched the, the gameplay, and I liked that what we're seeing in the trailers transitions to what the game looks like while it's in motion. I saw people complaining about 30 frames per sec. Like, you guys, shut the fuck up. Character models don't... Character models, to me, the whole Uncanny Valley shit, it's not just that. It's the way that Konami makes character models. They don't look like people. 
but I've kind of accepted that in the game, especially Silent Hill. It still looks good. They don't look like real people. You know what I mean? The backgrounds are some of the best that I've seen, you know, at at natively what the game is, okay? Not talking about some high-end fucking PC with everything up to ultra settings. Like, just as far as a PS5 game goes, this shit looks phenomenal. There's one particular host I like. Um, I don't remember where they were, but I do like that when you're walking down a street, it says on the bottom what street you're on. That's one huge issue I had with every Silent Hill. I've beat Silent Hill 2 every year since it has come out at least once. And I still can't tell you what fucking road I'm on. I can automatically, you guys have probably seen it in stream, who's watching this, I can start the game and go right where I need to go without opening the map. But I can't tell you where I am on the map because it's always backwards from the way you're walking. But anyway, so that was one big thing. I don't remember where they were. It's towards the end of the, end of the gameplay trailer. I don't think I saw it in the release date trailer, but there's... There's an area of the game in the, in the original where you could go in kind of a little alcove and you could get two um, health packs or med kits and then bullets, I believe, handgun bullets on the telephone, the payphone. If you guys don't know what that is, look that shit up and blow your mind. Um, but anyway, so it's outside of what looked like that area, and there was just a post with all these missing persons posters on it, and it was blowing in the wind, and it was like actual gameplay, and I'm like looking, I'm like, fucking background. That's what makes this game amazing. The voice actors that they got, uh, the VAs are awesome from the trailers I've seen so far. The atmosphere is building up to what the game actually was. They obviously made some changes. The um, Brookhaven Hospital is the biggest change that we've seen so far in terms of environment. Uh, where it's it's kind of the same, but it's set up more like a, honestly, like an actual hospital. Uh, I've never been to a hospital that's been, you know, cylindrical. Well, this one was square, and then and then um, Silent Hill Four was the cylinder prison. I don't know if that's a Japanese thing, but that ain't how it's done here. This shit's set up like two or three big houses stacked on top of each other unless you're at a giant medical center. So that's one thing, like, if they make little changes to kind of make it fit, like, the small town setting, I wouldn't be so upset with that. But again, I am nothing but excited. If you got any negativity on here, I'm removing your shit and not even going to respond to you. How many of you guys are excited? That's all I want to know. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I just got out of work and I'm fucking tired.